me Courtney and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I thought it would be appropriate <laughs> to try to do a look even though allergies are kicking my butt, which is interesting because I've never actually been allergic to like pollen and stuff until this year. <laughs> I have a few products that I got from the Sephora VIB sale that I do want to try out, so we're going to be doing that as well. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, if you want to cover puffiness under your eyes, hopefully. I say hopefully because I have done this before, but not necessarily with these products together. Also, I did take some Benadryl, so I don't know how much time I have before there is no longer going to be a video. So let's go ahead and get into it. <laughs> All right, so I did do a few things already. I do have my face moisturized and ceramized and whatnot. I'm trying out the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. We're gonna see how that does. To moisturize for sure, but to try to take away a little bit of that puffiness. All right, anytime you pull your hair back or into a ponytail or a bun, it's going to definitely give your eyes a little bit more of a lift. Instead of having like the droopy eyes that you're gonna have while you're coughing and sneezing and looking tired. I don't really know if that's a tip or a trick. I feel like everybody kind of knows that at this point. But don't ruin your edges doing so. So essentially I am going to do more of a square eyebrow, which is really what I usually do, but instead of bringing it down this way, I'm going to sort of bring it across. put any um, gel or anything on them just yet I'm gonna wait till the face is a little bit more done with all the powders and stuff so that they can blur a little bit more now I'm gonna go ahead and prime the rest of my face the first thing I'm gonna do is take my Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer that is going to go on the t-zone area because that is where I have a little bit of texture popping off and I'm gonna put it like right here where my pores need the most fillage. I kind of want today to be like a juicy skin day, so I am gonna use my Photo Finish Primerizer from Smashbox. This is gonna be my first time using this foundation, so we'll see how this goes. All right, we're gonna give that a second to settle in. We're gonna go ahead and do the eyes per usual. So because my eyes are already watery and puffy and red, we're gonna be using a red <laughs> eyeshadow. I figured it was a good time to pop out the Natasha Denona Sunrise palette. I don't think I've used this for a second, but essentially I'm going to go in with Jasper in the crease area. And then I'm going to take Clove towards the edge. I haven't decided if I want to do shimmer. I kind of want to keep it matte in the eyes, but we'll see. Am I the only person who like didn't have allergies growing up, but like literally these days, everything got weird after 30. So like I said, I'm gonna tap into the orange color Jasper. I'm gonna use a lot of pigment, but I am gonna be buffing this out. I feel like essentially what we're gonna be doing with this look is sort of playing on the sickness, you know? Making ourselves look sick, but make it fashion. <laughs> So now I'm gonna go into that dark burgundy shade clove that I was talking about, and that's gonna go on that outer edge to deepen, but also to add a little bit more of that red color in there. I am sort of going into that crease again and deepening that, but I'm more focused on that outer than bringing it all the way into the inner corner. Do I wanna take Morgan or Morgan? I wanna take Morgan actually, and then blend everything together. All right, so the eyes are pretty much done for right now. I could definitely go in with like a liner if you wanted. I'm not gonna be doing too much simply because I know my eyes are gonna be watering throughout the day with the whole allergy situation. So um, I'm literally gonna just leave it like that. We'll throw on some lashes in a minute. I am, however, gonna take my Becca Anti Fatigue Under Eye Primer, and that is going to be tapped under the eye as well. I'm trying not to look like a praying mantis. So I was gonna be using the Gemini 2 from Milk Cosmetics palette. I I ordered it uh, with my Sephora stuff from the sale. My palette came broken and then some of like the shadows got kind of shattered a little bit. They're sending me a new one so I don't know I felt guilty about using this one. I guess I still could have but I really really do love the colors. I am gonna do a three looks one palette with this situation. This probably would have worked a lot better for the look I was trying to create today but we're here and I haven't used the Natasha Denona palette in forever and I forgot how much I love it. So <laughs> win win. 
All right, so another new product that we are gonna be trying today is the Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF Sunscreen from Rare Beauty. I didn't wanna do a ton of makeup today, so that's why I wanted to try this out. But now I'm thinking I might have done my makeup too harshly for this, but we'll see. If I have, I'm just gonna kind of fix it with concealer, which we're gonna have to use a lot of concealer anyway, considering, so ooh, comes out in the squeezies. Color-wise, I don't know if I picked up the right color. They did have a color chart, but I would have had to get up from where I was ordering and go find what foundation I wore in the regular Rare Beauty foundation. And I didn't feel like doing that. So we're gonna see if this color works. Undertone looks okay. Looks a little light, but it is a tinted moisturizer. I do wish I would have read about the SPF because I would have got a darker shade in this. Ooh, definitely need a darker shade. Ugh. This video is gonna be a disaster. <laughs> I think with all the tinted moisturizers and stuff coming out, I've gotten so used to there being more coverage with the tinted moisturizers as of late. Um, this is an actual tinted moisturizer. I'm actually not mad at it for the first try on situation. I do have a little bit too much eye makeup going on for it. But what I'm gonna do is layer a little bit more. I'm gonna use a brush and then we'll kind of try to overcompensate almost with the concealer, I think, which is what I was gonna do anyway. <laughs> We're just gonna see if we can get a little bit more coverage and a little bit more evenness with the brush. This might have to be exchanged for a darker shade for sure especially with the SPF situation making me look ghostly. But the actual skin, not mad at. It didn't cover up my moles, but it did kind of cover up this little spot right there a little bit more than I was expecting it to. I'm not mad at all. Since we're using Rare Beauty, I'm gonna just go in with that concealer. And of course, we're going up to lift the eye. I feel like I don't really need it all over the face, but just for continuity purposes. I'm not gonna put a lot of anything on my nose simply because I know I'm gonna be wiping my nose all day. And while that's sitting, I'm actually going to go ahead and do my contour bronze situation. You guys are gonna see this in a video coming up soon, but this is a, um, I guess it's more like a foundation stick from Merit Beauty, but I did get it in a darker shade so that I could use it as a contour type of situation. They did send me this this specific along with a few other things. As I said, you'll see the video. Um, whew, that medicine might be kicking in. It might be kicking in. All right, but I'm gonna do the regular parts of my face to give myself a little bit of lift. I've used this a few different times. By the way, this is the Minimalist Perfecting Complexion Stick. I don't know if I said that. I am doing it in more of a triangle because I do want to bronzify a little bit. But this stick is so freaking smooth. See how easy that freaking blends out? With the tinted moisturizer and this bronzer slash contour situation alone, I feel like this would be a perfect no makeup makeup glowy type of situation. If I seem like I'm going slower, it's because that Benadryl is definitely kicking in. I'm gonna have to hurry this up. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to use Huda Beauty under my eyes to brighten it a little bit because I do realize that the concealer is a little bit darker than the actual, um, I wanna say foundation, but it's a tinted moisturizer. So to balance that out, I'm gonna be going in with a little bit more of a brightening situation. This is also going to help when it comes to covering up <laughs> our bags. So the next powder I wanted to try is the Always an Optimist from Rare Beauty. This one is another new one that came out. I kind of wish I'd have got two of them. This is in the shade medium. I did have it in my mind to get the lighter shade, but I didn't. I figured this one was gonna be lighter um, just because color saturation sometimes online, but it is definitely darker. <laughs> so we're gonna use this as an overall face powder. Again, this is my first time trying this. So we're gonna see how this turns out. And we're just gonna dust the rest of the face. There is a little bit of glow that's still on the skin, which we are gonna bring back all of our glow, don't even worry about it. Um, I do like to get my under eyes a little bit more dry so that they can set. Then I'll go in and spray my face like crazy and bring back all the glow. So I am gonna be using my Becca Sunlit Bronzer in Ipanema Sun. You guys know this is one of my favorites. Now I am gonna put some on the tip of my nose, mainly because I know I'm gonna keep rubbing it and it's gonna turn red anyway. All right, and so for blush, we're gonna be trying out the Patrick Ta Double Take Cream and Powder Blush. This is in She's Baked. The 
fingerprints of it all. This is what the color she's baked looks like. I'm gonna go in with the cream first. I'm actually really excited to use this when I haven't tried any of Patrick Ta's cream blushes yet. I like the way it feels because it's not super sticky. It could be because it's already going over powder, but the fact that it goes over powder is also a good sign. And then I'm gonna take the powder blush and go on top of that. To finish up the eyes, I'm gonna go back into that orange color Jasper. I'm basically mimicking that redness and puffiness again, so I'm just going to take this under the eye, kinda messily. I'm not gonna be using a liner today simply because there's no point. There's no point. I'm gonna go back into that shade Morgan for that inner eye situation. I'm gonna take my Super Shot Cheek from ColourPop, and this is the color Wisp. I'm not 100% sure if they still do this one, but I know they still have the Super Shocks. Um, but I'm gonna tap that on my high points just to blend and accentuate that cheekbone area. Take it under the brow. I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows again since they are starting to disappear a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and set them. To bring back all that glowy dewiness to the skin, I'm gonna be using my Fenty What It Do Makeup Refreshing Setting Spray. I'm gonna use this pretty, pretty generously. <laughs> and then we're gonna take the fan and let everything sink into the skin again, if that makes sense. So this is what I was talking about with the actual spray and kind of getting your face a little bit more soaked. It gives you a nice glowy feel without everything actually being sticky and tacky and gross. For the lipstick, I'm actually going to be using a new one. This is, um, what is this actually? Give by Gwen Stefani. Um, this is the lightweight longwear matte liquid lipstick. The original recipe. This is what the actual packaging looks like. The way I see it is that the red will detract from the red nose that we're going to have as we keep wiping. At least in my mind, it works that way. <laughs> See, and now we don't look sick anymore. I feel like my entire face just looks like a big old puffball. All right, so this is the final look. By the way, the actual lipstick, the liquid lipstick from Gwen Stefani, like I love this red color. This is fly. And it's a soft matte. It's not one of those mattes that are like super duper drying on your lips so my lips don't feel suffocated. So I really, really like this. Per usual, everything that I use in my face is gonna be in the description box below if you are curious. Uh, but yeah, that about does it for me, guys. Hopefully this video was helpful and fun, entertaining. If so, please give me a thumbs up. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video if the mood suits you, and I will see you guys in the next one after I take a nap. <laughs> Bye.